In this Televo tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through the steps required to measure samples using the software. Now, hopefully, um, you will have already got your measuring um, measuring platform hardware installed and set up using the setup wizard within um, Televo. Um, but if we go to Edit Preferences, we can go and um, check up on our settings. So if we go to the Hardware tab, you can see we have a list of all the different uh, um, platforms that we currently support within Tolervo. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, QuadraCheck um, setting here and you'll see that all the all the parameters are already set and ready to go. If you want to check you can use the test connection button but um, for now I'm just going to close out of that. So to actually make your measurement we can use either the quick link button here on the on the front page or you can go to the file new menu and that will bring up a dialog here. So we can either now scan in the barcode of our sample or click the um, the manual button for recording um, the metadata later. We're going to go ahead and use the uh, barcode for this. So um, here we are, we're going to go and scan the barcode. And once you've done that, that brings up the uh, main data entry screen in Televo. And uh, if we click over to the metadata tab, we'll see that um, the barcode uh, has uh, pulled in all the information about this sample directly from the database. So we already know exactly what site it's from, uh, we know which uh, element it's from, and um, we have all the metadata associated with each of these entities from the database already pre-populated. So we have the object, element, and sample, all all that information all come straight in from the database. And when we, So when we're doing a measurement, all we need to do is specify all the information about the, the radius and the series that we're working on. So um, uh, so we click onto the uh, radius tab and then we we tell the system whether we are um, working with an existing radius or whether we're doing a new radius and um, this is a, a duplicate measurement so we've already got the radius within in the database so we go ahead and select that and do choose and again so because we're pulling in information from the database we already uh, have all the information all the metadata about this particular radius we know how many uh, rings were um, unmeasurable whether it has pith whether it has sapwood whether it has um, bark um, all this sort of information is all ready to go so you can just go and check over this metadata and um, uh, and you know check that you're happy with all this information and update it if necessary and um, so um, as so as well as the radius, we then also need to put in information about the series. So because this is a duplicate series, we're going to call this um, series two. So this is a second second reading of this uh, radius, and then we can uh, specify who is doing the measurement. So Charlotte's going to be measuring this today, so we set her in as the analyst and the dendrochronologist in charge of uh, doing this measurement. So we can then go ahead and uh, save this information and then go across uh, back across to the the data tab where we actually um, have the measurement. In. So you can see here we can choose between the, um, the display units for um, that we want to see within the system. Um, so we can choose between a hundredths or a, a micron uh, values. So this is um, just the display units. We, the Televo already knows exactly the information coming off the measurement um, platform. So we just choose um, what we want there. So to actually do the measurement we go to the edit menu and choose between whole ring widths or early wood late wood widths. And then we just go to the start measuring um, entry, which brings up the measuring panel at the bottom. Now this will change depending on the sort of measuring plat platform you've got and what sort of facilities it has. But um, we can then just go ahead and either use the record button on the screen or the hardware button on the actual platform itself to send the measurements. And you see them coming through now. And um, we also have the ability for tagging um, individual rings. So if we right click on a field on, on a ring, um, we can pick um, here, for instance, we've done a single pin hole, and we can also do things like, um, you know, merging uh, frost rings or um, things like that. So that all can be tagged on 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 the on the data itself. Um, and if um, you you can then obviously do all your measuring, and you can just go to save when you're ready, or use the save button on the toolbar. Um, um, but alternatively. If you're wanting to measure uh, early wood, late wood widths, we just go um, back to the measuring mode and uh, swap that over there. Um, as you'll see, it will require, it will tell you, you know, we don't have the information for early wood, late widths for the date that you've already done, so we have to delete those off to start with. Um, but then, uh, if we go back to start measuring, it will bring up the measuring panel again, and again, you just use the record button on the screen or your hardware measuring. Um, 
uh, measuring button for your platform and you measure this time just the two values for each of your rings um, as you go through so and then you'll see them uh, appearing on the screen here uh, in pairs uh, for each for each year and um, once we've um, measured our rings and we're gonna we're just gonna do a handful here um, we can um, stop measuring um, and again you can see we have um, an option down at the bottom here to, for actually displaying the data so we can choose to have although we have the early wood late woods we can show the whole ring width or we can just show the early or just show the late or show both of them in, in each cell like uh, as we see there um, other options we have on the on on this um, uh, screen here, we can also display some uh, the basic stats about the series, as you can see here. You know the average uh, ring widths, for instance. Um, that's all available from the from the toolbar at the bottom there. And um, again, though, saving is just with the save bar at the top. Okay, thanks very much.